video editing. It is essential to becoming a filmmaker and it took me quite a long time to understand that your tools for editing are just as or even more important than the equipment you shoot on. Through a lot of trial, error, and patience, I feel confident enough to talk about what I use to edit my videos on and some of my tips and tricks to go along with it. So with no further ado, here is the XPS 15. It is a beast of a computer. I chose to go with a laptop as my main source of video editing because I find myself on the move quite often. This is the spec'd out version coming with a 15.6 inch 4K touchscreen, close to 100% Adobe RGB correct, which is great for editing color, an i9 processor, 32 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of solid state drive, and an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti graphics card. It has a full HDMI, a Thunderbolt 3 port, two USB 3.0 ports, and wait for it, an SD card slot, which is a big deal to me. But Alex, I do not have $3,000 or $3,500 to throw down on a laptop. Well, I bought this laptop on the Dell refurbished site, practically new for $2,000. So if you want to save some money, look into that route. Another thing is that if you want to edit well, you're just going to have to make the investment. Sorry. So how does it do under pressure? I shoot my YouTube stuff in log full 4K 10 bit 422 at 150 megabits a second. And my bigger projects at the same resolution, but at 400 megabits a second. Just to help put things into perspective, 150 megabits at that resolution would come out to 1.7 gigs of footage for 60 seconds. And if you shot it at that resolution size at 400 megabits a second, you're talking almost three gigs of video footage, which is extremely unnecessary. But for me, it is. I'm not saying all should do this, but it's what I do. So there you go. Let's dive into Premiere Pro so we can get a better idea of how the Dell XPS 15 does under pressure. Okay, jumping into Premiere Pro, I have a video file here. And if I jump into the property settings of that file, I can see that it was 19 minutes long shot at 4K and a log format and it is about 20 gigs for that 19 minutes. So let's see how long it will take the XPS 15 to render this clip out. So shot in 4K at 150 megabits a second, that would make sense that it was about 20 gigs. And it took about 14 minutes, 32 seconds to render. Okay, so I am here in Premiere Pro just to show you what it's like to edit in here and what it's like to scrub through the timeline and if it's skipping frames, um, you know, and, and whatnot. But this is all shot in 4K, like I said, it's at 150 megabits a second, 4K files. And uh, I edit it, you know, just straight raw out of the camera. And you can see up here, it is in full resolution, so it's scrubbing you know, super well being a laptop editing 4K just on the fly, especially just coming straight out of the camera. And on top of that uh, golden nugget, I have After Effects here open. So it's running two different programs at the same time. And so you really see that i9 processor doing its job. And where the graphics card is coming in handy is because look, as I'm scrubbing through here, it is doing a really good job as well. It's not skipping frames, and if I played it from the very beginning, you know, it does a pretty good job. This is uh, part of the intro animation to my YouTube channel, as you can see right here. One of the things that I appreciate working in Premiere Pro on this laptop is how quickly and efficiently I can color and open up different programs and work inside them. So if I come here to these clips, again, it is shot in log. I can, and if I wanted to edit these clips, I can open up Audition. We can kind of see how fast it opens up. And again, for reference, I still have After Effects open. So, I mean, I have three programs going right now. And if I wanted to, I could, you know, add a... Uh, you know, the effects that I want and it's done. All I have to do is save it and exit and then it updates. And then coming over to color, I mean, on laptops I've used in the past, this, even opening up the color takes takes a while. And, you know, as I'm moving the the scales, it it's doing it, you know, right away. And that's one of those things that is awesome because it's efficient, it's quick, and I can get the things done that I'm trying to get, trying to do. And you know, adding the LUTs that I need, it, it really just does a great job. 
So one of my quick tips and tricks when it comes to Premiere Pro is working with hotkeys. Get to know your hotkeys. And one of the simple things that I have done is I've customized two things specifically that will really help you edit more efficiently and quicker. And what those are is, number one, is I set one and two as my zoom in, zoom out. Usually your plus and minus over here does that, but I also customized it for one and two to do it. So I can have both my hands on either side comfortably. My right hand's on the mouse and this hand is on one and two. Secondly, I have my render, I have my render clip as control Y. For some reason, if you're on a PC, render in and out is not just customized to a hockey already. But there you go, there are my two quick tricks is zoom in and out for one and two and control Y as render in and out. If you have any more questions, throw it in the comments down below, like, subscribe, and share. This is a community, so ask questions, and we'll see you guys next time.